It's time for Around the Ozarks in 5, brought to you by the Butterfly Palace. Have the best day ever at the Butterfly Palace. The Springfield Green County Park Board, reminding you to go play. And Roto-Rooter Plumbing and Drain Service. Call Southwest Missouri's best plumber today for a free estimate. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Foreheads. Hey, it's Thursday, and uh, I don't know, maybe it'll be a day without fog. It's, it'll, it seems like it might be the only day this week without fog. It's been crazy the last two days. Yeah, uh, I was out late uh, last night, and it was worse, I think, at night than it was in the morning. Yeah, yeah. I drove super it, crazy early and then super crazy late, and I was like, what in the world is happening? Yeah, it's been weird to have two days of thick fog that never burned off. Uh, anyway, so I think it's going to be better today. The sun, sunshine should be out to burn it off a little bit, and uh, at any rate, let's do some news. All right, here we go. A synagogue in Springfield is cleaning up and fixing vandalism. Windows were broken and a sign for the Children of Jacob Synagogue on East Seminole was ripped off the building and dragged away. Children of Jacob is a Messianic Jewish congregation. That means they are people of Jewish heritage, but who follow Jesus as Messiah. The rabbi at Children of Jacob says members of his congregation have been receiving threats since the war started in Israel. Wow. Also on East Seminole and also early Tuesday morning, a business was broken into there. Windows were broken at the sub shop when employees arrived at work. This is the second time the sub shop was targeted by burglars in the last couple months. Hmm. Wow. Uh, A fire truck from the Kabul Fire Department is destroyed. Two firefighters are recovering from injuries from an on-duty crash. Uh, the truck was responding to a wreck on icy roads earlier this week when the crash happened and the, the truck caught fire. I mean, really caught fire. One of the firefighters was trapped inside the vehicle and other firefighters used the water tanker to put the fire out so that trapped firefighter could get out, which is crazy. Yeah. Wow. Uh, thank, thankfully, uh, the injuries are not serious, but man, scary situation. Governor Mike Parson has delivered now his final state of the state address. He talked about his accomplishment of repairing and improving roads and bridges across the state. He also cited several uh, tax cuts he signed. Governor Parson took over, of course, when former Governor Eric Greitens resigned, which seems like so long ago now. Uh, it um, seems like so long ago. It really I does. The same thing. I was like, yeah. what in the world? Yeah, it's been a long time. Uh, Governor Parson is barred by term limits uh, from running again. Yep. All right. Now to this. Springfield's annual count of the homeless population is underway. The Alliance to End Homelessness is conducting its annual Everyone Counts campaign. The goal is to get an accurate number of homeless in order to get government funding to try to help with the problem. Well, the Springfield School Board voted four to three to not publicly support a current proposal in the Missouri legislature. Very interesting. The current proposal would give more power back to local school districts and remove authority from the state board of education related to mandated test for accreditation. The bill is currently being debated in the state legislature. Um, I want to look into that more because I find it interesting. Don't you? Yeah, it's it's more involved than than we talked about here uh, in a in a short amount of time. But yeah, it is it is interesting. Yeah. All right. Now to this, another proposal in the Missouri legislature, something different, uh, would call for the public to vote on members of public library boards. Uh, Currently, they are appointed by mayors and county executives. There's been a lot of public debate about libraries across the country in recent years, uh, specifically the types of content available to children in those libraries. Many of the critics point to sexually explicit content and say pornography, of course, should not be allowed to children and available at the library. So we'll see about that proposal uh, working its way through the system right now. Okay. Branson wants to work with local businesses to spur growth in Branson. Board of Aldermen there planning special meetings starting next Monday and Tuesday to hear from business owners and others in the community, not just business owners, uh, but especially business owners about how to create a stronger environment for local business to thrive. Another meeting is set for February 29th. All those meetings at Branson City Hall starting at 6 in the p.m. And more business consolidation is taking place in Springfield. It was Hertz Donuts a couple of weeks ago. We told you about that. Now it's a bank. 
Great Southern is closing its branch at 600 West Republic Road and merging that location with the branch at 2945 West Republic Road. So both on West Republic Road, now from two down to one, all employees from the closing branch, again, that's 600 West Republic Road, will move to the surviving branch. And you know, Peyton Manning. Uh, not what? surprising, pause, you know, it's not surprising, is there was a while back where Ethan and I were driving around you know what? I got to throw him under the bus for a second. I think it's the last time we went on a date, which at this point was probably a year ago, Mr. Four Hets. But that's neither here nor there. The we can check the podcast story, records we on that. Dry, we can check. You're right about that. We were driving around and there were all these new buildings and they were all really nice and big and cool. And we were like, oh, what's this going to be? What's this going to be? What's this going to be? And it was like bank, 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 bank. And we were like, what the heck is happening? Everybody banks online. Why are there so many banks going up? And now they're consolidating. I feel like I could have saved them the money. I could have told them that. <laughs> That's all I'm I, saying. They need I to think, hire me as a consultant. I think one of these branches that, that they're talking about was just built in 2007. I did read that somewhere. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm always disappointed. And, and if you're like me, you are as well. When you see something new going in, you're like, oh, what's, what's that? And then you're, oh. It's going to be a bank. a bank and yeah. I'm not opposed to banks. They, I mean, they, they keep my money for me, which I appreciate, but I don't go in there. I don't, I don't, I don't spend time in there like I would a restaurant or a shop or I don't know. But anyway, it does seem like there are a lot of banks, uh, all over town really. And I thought a while back that there was going to be a, a drop in banks and bank buildings because of the online stuff. But I think there's a fair number of people that that want to go in and sit face to face with somebody whenever you're getting a, a home mortgage or a car loan. Well, for and you sure, wanna... when you're doing something big. But the <clears throat> point is that you don't do that very often. True. No one person does that very often. So I don't know. It just seems excessive. That's all. You can get free coffee in there. You know, I do Just stop into different banks throughout that. the day and listen and get free Mr. coffee. Mr. Foreheads has been known to do these uh, sorts of things and the rest of it stays between us. Yes, Ethan, you're fine. Don't worry. I'm not actually going to say it on the podcast. Why would I ever call you out? Like what, you know, I could right now. I would never do that to you. I, Go on. I, I honestly, you broke. No, you broke up during that. And I don't know what you were talking about, but I think I may know. Um, okay. I said, <laughs> but you're, anyway, we'll you're breaking up right now. You know what? It's for the you're breaking move up on. for me. Move on to Peyton. Move on to Peyton. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Peyton Manning is coming to town. I said that like five minutes ago, the first time, uh, he'll be here as the headliner for the Missouri sports hall of fame champions gala. Uh, it will be April 4th, six in the PM at the university plaza, downtown Springfield, which is where we had our wedding reception. Uh, the event includes dinner and will raise money for the Special Olympics Missouri and champions committed to kids. Two good organizations. Uh, Manning will participate in a question and answer session there. So he's a big deal. Peyton Manning. And he's funny. Yeah. I like that he's funny. He's pretty quick. I don't know his personality. Dry. I mean, I, I know him. I like him, but I don't know his personality. So he's funny. Yeah. Yeah. You'd, you'd um, like him. All right. I do like a funny guy. It's true. That's why I married you. Uh, Fiona, everybody knows Fiona the hippo, right? Fiona the hippo is turning seven years old. She's the daughter of Springfield hippo Henry. Uh, Fiona made news when she was born six weeks prematurely at the Cincinnati Zoo seven years ago. Her father, uh, Henry, was moved to the Cincinnati Zoo to mate with another hippo in 2016. Uh, he had been at the Dickerson Park Zoo, though, since 1982. Isn't that fun? I remember, like, she had, like, a page of following Fiona did. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was a big deal. And there were videos. I mean, you, and you could, could people were watching her on social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All um, right. You know what? I was just thinking that, man, it feels like we just did that story back when we were in news. But you can kind of see how much time has gone by by the age of animals at the zoo. Because I remember when I was younger and living in St. Louis in college, yeah, in college, uh, there was a, an elephant born at the St. Louis Zoo 
And some friends and I went over to see the elephant, Raja. It was a big deal. We went over to see Raja, the baby elephant. Uh, that was 1992. <laughs> so now that elephant is like 30, whatever, 32 years old. And uh, I was like, oh my gosh, 32 years has gone by since I went to see that blasted elephant when it was a baby at the zoo. And now, I mean, it's got its own kids. It's got grandkids probably. I don't know. <laughs> it's crazy. And here uh, I am. Yeah. All right. Anyway, that's all I got. The app. Oh. Yeah, we want to talk about the app, don't we? Um, Ethan's uh, new to this broadcasting thing. He likes really awkward pauses between stories because he doesn't know what's well, coming up next. Well, I'm, that I have a, familiar. <laughs> Go. I have a poor connection. I can't hear sometimes what you're saying. So I don't know oh. if the... I don't know if everybody else has a poor connection or not, but you're breaking up for me. I so I don't do not yeah, see. Uh, all right. We want to let you know one of the easiest ways to get uh, our podcast and all of the around the Ozarks podcast is through the smartphone app around the Ozarks app. Get it for your smartphone. Uh, you'll have access to audio versions of all the podcasts. You got us around the Ozarks and five wake up weather with Abby Dyer, which by the way, you should watch because I was looking at the forecast and what I said about fog maybe dissipating and being sunny is not at all true. So watch Abby Dyer's Wake Up Weather. You can also see <laughs> Rewind with Woody and Janet. That's fun. Sports Scene with Scott Purrier. Ned Talk with our friend Ned Reynolds. Lots of other podcasts, too. So uh, make sure you get the Around the Ozarks app. Yes. Again, it's a free download. And if you want to watch the video version instead of just the audio, you can do that from the app. Also, uh, you'll just like click on a big scroll bar and it'll show you the video of the day. So we know on Facebook and other social media, you can get lost on which one posted today. Um, and you don't want to be behind on news because then it's no longer news. Um, so the app makes it super easy to find because it lists them in date order and then you can watch us anywhere, anytime. Uh, so download it in your app store on your phone. Just search for around the Ozarks. Okay, easy enough. And thank you for watching on Thursday. We hope to see you back here on Friday. Yeah, happy Thursday. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to pray for a better connection. Honestly, it could be fog related. Seriously, though, it could be. It could yeah. be. I'm sure that's what it is. I'm just saying. Okay. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Have a good one. It's time for Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather, sponsored by Scooters Coffee and Rescue Towing. Here's your host, meteorologist Abby Dyer. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to your Thursday. It is once again a foggy, wet, dreary start to a new day. We have low clouds around early this morning, many of us dealing with some widespread rain chances, and about a half an inch of rainfall is possible in the rain gauge. In fact, that happens early on today. So not a great start to the day. Definitely, you might need to plan just a few extra minutes for the morning drive. Visibility may be reduced in a few areas. Temperatures well above freezing, near 40 degrees, and that's kind of the problem. It's very close to our dew point temperature, and with all the moisture that we've had around at the surface, the result is fog and low visibility in many spots. High temperatures today in Springfield, they'll climb to near 50 degrees. It'll end up being a pretty mild day despite the low cloud cover and the rain that I have in the forecast. Rain and fog, though, for the morning drive, and I think these conditions will linger through probably midday. It's just going to be another one of those days where it's just wet outside. <laughs> Even if it's not raining, it's just wet. Everything is damp. We have really muddy conditions developing in the yard. You can't let the dogs out without them getting covered in mud. Uh, the yards are just sloppy and soggy, and these warm temperatures have been nice because they've helped us thaw out, but we've had quite a lot of moisture in winter weather that has melted into the ground, creating muddy conditions across the Ozarks. Mild temperatures look to continue this week. It's going to take some time before we can get rid of some of this mud, though, and an additional chance for rain in the forecast both today and then again on Saturday is not going to help things much. I do have more rain expected in the forecast late tomorrow night through early in the day on Saturday. And then I think we can get a little bit of a break, but a pretty active pattern overall in the Ozarks this week with mild temperatures and multiple rounds of showers 
No thunderstorms for us, but we've had many days with foggy conditions, and that's indeed what we are waking up to this morning. We have rain chances continuing for some through Saturday evening. A couple more rounds of rain are in the forecast. Additional rainfall up to an inch and a half will be possible through this time period. So what we're getting this morning added up with what we get tomorrow night and early Saturday, it could equate to an inch and a half in spots, which may mean minor flooding, localized minor flooding in spots. It's the low lying areas where it's going to be possible. Best chance of this happening is going to be over the eastern Ozarks and places that are kind of waterlogged from the last couple of systems that came through town. Some road closures may be possible due to flooded low water crossing. So just make sure you're thinking about that. And of course, if you come across a spot that's covered, turn around and find a different way around. Turn around, don't drown. That's the motto this time of the year as we get closer to springtime. Rainfall amounts look lighter up in central Missouri. That's where about an inch of rain will be possible over the time period. Really, the message to you is going to be to have an umbrella handy while temperatures look a little bit better. We have multiple rounds of showers. So just bring the umbrella in the car. It's a good thing to have on hand here the next several days. Substantial warm up in the forecast, though, as we look at next week, I think there's a pretty good chance that we see high temperatures in the 50s every single day. It's looking way above average, not just for us in the Ozarks, but much of the Great Lakes region, places that were hard hit with some of the snow and winter weather. We all now get an opportunity to thaw out, which is a welcome change across the region. Looks like we have about an 80% chance probability of being above normal through next week into the first week of February. So Yay for that. We'll see high temperatures today, right about 50 degrees in Springfield. Of course, we've got the rain chances ongoing this morning. I think the rain chance looks lower this evening, but more rain showers are in the forecast Friday night. I expect if you have Friday night plans, just grab an umbrella. Temperatures won't be too bad. We're staying above freezing here. I do expect, though, that we see high temps fall a little bit. And by Saturday, we'll see a high temperature in the 40s. So, High temperature today near 50 degrees. I think tomorrow we're at about 51 in Springfield on Friday. And then for Saturday, high temperatures fall. We'll be at about 44 degrees for the high temp on Saturday, staying in the low 40s for Sunday. So the weekend is looking cooler, but I think Sunday is a dry day and we should at least get some sunshine to greet us again by the time we get too late in the weekend, which will be a welcome change. And then we'll warm it up again early next week. Around the country, what's making headlines this morning, unseasonably warm temperatures for the eastern third of the country. And this may come into play with record low temperatures for them being warm. So you may see record high low temperatures, if that makes sense warm for the overnight. Uh, For the eastern third of the country, that's going to be in the headlines nationally over the next few days. I also have several rounds of rainfall and even thunderstorms expected for the southern tier. It's been very active. I know Texas has seen a whole lot of rain. We've been rain starved down in the Gulf and Louisiana is seeing some much needed rain that will continue through the weekend. Part of the same upper level disturbance that's going to impact us here in the Ozarks. All right, it's time for the Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather Brain Twister question today, sponsored by Scooters Coffee. Your next chance to win 20 bucks to Scooters. Here it is. What state is ranked number one for hiking according to fitrated.com? The options that I gave you were A, Alaska, B, Utah, C, California, or D, Arkansas. The answer is... Many of you may not have picked a Alaska. Can you believe that? Uh, We're also talking, by the way, about really warm temperatures across the country, with the exception of Alaska. Alaska is the only place that's well below normal for this time of the year, just getting totally dumped on with rain or snowfall. Uh, It is the Arctic up there for sure. Uh, But believe it or not, it is the number one ranked state for hiking. And fitrated.com did this study and it was all a result of a Yelp rating. So people go to Alaska, they hike, and then they tell Yelp that was the best hiking ever. Alaska taking the number one spot, Arkansas taking the number two spot. And I know a lot of us are aware of this. I've done some hiking in Arkansas. It's, it's hard to beat. I mean, you don't have to go to Alaska. (laughs) It's in Arkansas, beautiful, beautiful hiking waterfalls, all of that in Northern Arkansas, some awesome towns. And how lucky are we that that's local because the, uh, other 
second ranked spot that tied for number two, Arkansas and Hawaii. I would gladly take a trip to Hawaii, but you know, Arkansas is a whole lot more convenient for us. We also saw some of the lowest ranked states, Tennessee coming in very low, which is kind of surprising to me. Hikers are most likely to have a mediocre time in Tennessee. 20% of the trails garnered a sub three star rating. So wah, wah. I guess hikers were a little bit disappointed in Tennessee. Other states coming in with a low ranking include Texas, Oklahoma, and who else? Hmm. Mississippi. So now, you know, just head to Arkansas. It's close. It's beautiful. And we're lucky that it's in the Ozarks. All right. Here's a look at the question for tomorrow. What was the average speed of the first official auto race on record? How fast were those cars moving? Do you think it was a five miles an hour, B 10 miles an hour, C 20 miles an hour or D 40 miles an hour? Let me know your guess. You can submit that around the Ozarks.com. While you're there, make sure you check out the rest of the forecast. You can get up to the minute details all day long. That's at around the Ozarks.com. You can also check out our other awesome podcasts on the website. And maybe the best way to view some of our podcasts is by downloading the Around the Ozarks It is awesome. You can get access to all of the Around the Ozarks podcasts in audio or video form. It's going to give you the first episode right there at the top of the banner. Click on it, download it. You can get it on any device. Just search Around the Ozarks in your app store. Thanks so much for listening early this morning. I sure appreciate it. And I'll chat with you again early tomorrow. Stay safe on the roads, low visibility, some rain out there. Grab the umbrella. Stay warm. We're looking at a high temperature today near 50 degrees.